Hey guys, I'm back with some more Slime Ranger 2. Didn't even say, uh, it's me, Maple. Of course, of course. There we go. Um, I just finally got the other video uploaded. Which I think I recorded two days ago. Um, it didn't, I don't know what happened. I rendered it multiple times. I tried. The first time I rendered it, I uploaded it, and it kept failing for some reason. And then after that, I uh, rendered it again, and it didn't really work. <laughs> it ended up making the file bigger, and the whole point of rendering it is to both edit it and also to make the file smaller. So I had to render it again. And it finally worked that time, and it uploaded, but it took like two hours to upload, even though it was only like two gigs. Um, but yeah, I finally finished all of that, and uh, it's uploaded and ready with its thumbnail and everything. I really need to make like a notepad with all the tags that I need to use on it so I can speed up the uploading process. But, uh, yeah, no one's commented on it yet because it's fresh and it's, um, I'm not going to be able to find, not find, I asked a question at the end of the last video about which area I should get and no one's, no one's had the time because I just uploaded it. Um, I don't really expect a response anyways, but if I do get one, we'll see. I, I might not even unlock that area yet. I know they don't get the cube berries. Oh well, they got them this time. Okay, so I got food for everybody at the moment. Um, I got the ports being made. I need to craft, I think, but I just spent money on a port collector. Really, it's kind of like a waste unless it's on a dangerous box like this one. Like, I didn't have to do it on the um, phosphor slash honey or the pink slash cotton. But I did, because I'm lazy. Who wants to play a video game just to have to work for everything? <laughs> I used to, but uh, not anymore. I'm lazy. Any more in there? Nope. Any more in here? Nope. Okay, I'm going to plop all these ports into the refinery downstairs. Hopefully I'm not talking too quietly. I don't know. I just noticed it sounded like I was getting extra quiet. But in this video, I need to collect more phosphor slime ports so that I can get the jetpack. And then I'm going to have to look for all the maps and stuff. So I think there's a decent amount that I haven't explored, but I'm starting to feel like I've already explored a good amount of the world, which is a little disappointing, but... It's understandable considering that's what I've been focusing on. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is sleep so I can get um, everyone fed and some more ports. Not enough. Is everyone going to be hungry? Yeah. I'm going to sleep again just so I can get the food. Alright. Slept for 12 hours today. Okay, let's collect everyone's food. It's not going to be enough. But it's going to be something. Plenty of cube berries. Not enough water lettuce. I think that's because I have the nutrient soil 
on the cube berries and nothing else. So I think the next bit of money before even buying a new plot is going to go to upgrading the, um, the food situation. So cube berries go in here. Then these guys get the sea hens. Hopefully that's enough. And these guys get the water lettuce. Hopefully that's enough. This is not going to be enough pomegranates, I don't think. Might be, actually. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't enough water lettuce. We should probably uh, thin the herd just a little bit. Well. I know I need boom ports for something. I don't remember what. I think I increased. Did I ever increase my um, capacity? Yes, I did. Awesome. I probably have more than enough pink ports right now, so I'm gonna sell these. They're not even worth that much. Um, oh boy, how'd you get out? Get back in there. You too. Oh, big Angie. Okay, he's probably angry because he doesn't have enough food. So let's give him some more sea hens. Just to calm him down. Maybe. I don't know if it was a food food situation or not. Um ooh, yeah, look at all those phosphor ports. Okay, my inventory's full. So I'm gonna go downstairs and check out all the recipes to see what I need before I invest too heavily. Okay, so I need two more phosphor plorts and ten radiant ore for the jetpack. I need a few more boom, boom plorts for the dash boots, which would be useful. Pulse wave, not necessary. The water tank would be useful. I already have enough angler ports. I need puddle ports and deep brine. Extra tank. Um, that would be nice. Slicky sand, rock plort, and a lot of new bucks. And tank booster. Radiant ore, tabby plort. So I need a lot of radiant ore. I'm gonna need some tabby plorts. I don't have any tabby slimes, do I? So the next one are going to be tabby rock slimes, I think. I think that makes sense. But I need a spot for that. Alright, so I only need a few of these in there. I'm going to add ten more. Alright, that's good enough. I'm just going to add a decent amount there. And I'm going to sell everything else for the money, because I need that a lot. At some point I would like to make a silo, but that's going to have to wait. And I have quite a few more ports to collect and sell. I may just popped out a couple more. Alright, um, I have more than enough money to upgrade the farms, I don't want to run out of any food. And then once I have the ability to keep growing enough food, then I don't really have to worry about selling ports regularly, I can just them for a while. Okay, these guys need high walls. Don't want to lose any of those. I've never had this ab much abundance in a coop before. Let's add the sprinklers here. So this is going to be expensive, but it's going to pay off in the end. How quickly? I'm not sure, but 
That was a lot. That's just for the sprinklers. That was a thousand five hundred for the nutrients. So like an extra seven hundred or so. So like two thousand two hundred credits just for that. Now I'm poor again. Um, I think I'm just gonna sleep just so that I can um, feed them again. Oh yeah, that mug. I said I wanted one. Oh, she doesn't have it anymore. The little mug that she was holding was, um, like, you can actually buy it, but it was sold out on the website. I don't remember where it is, but, uh, if I ever find that thing, I, I'm so getting that. It was like a bundle of three different, um, slimes. It was probably pretty expensive, because it was $15 just for a single mug. Which is just way too much. 300% markup, if, if not more. That's a lot of sea rats. Okay. I didn't expect that to be as abundant and good as it was. Or yet, as it is. But, gonna have plenty to feed them now. Alright, plenty of water lettuce for you guys. I think. I don't know. I could probably get rid of these guys and replace them with bunny tabby ports or something. But it's not necessary. Alright. So I do have to sell again just to afford one of these places. I'm going to go see the price. Also, I don't remember. Did I, did I do this in the last one? Yeah, I don't think I've played this solo in a while. So I came up here and read that. Yeah. Okay, 1,800 for the goalie. Uh, surrounded by taller rock formations and covered in amber grass. It's very pretty. Um, and the other expansions, I think there's one beyond that. Uh-oh, oh. that was a close one. The archway and expansion to the conservatory set amongst ancient ruins and fields of rainbow gl uh, grass. Same price, 1800 1800 new bucks. And then the den. This dark, damp, mushroom-covered expansion is a refuge from the sun for slimes and ranchers alike. So this is where I can move phosphor slimes, maybe even bat slimes depending on what other creatures come about. All right, so I'm gonna go check the prices of everything because I'm sure it's going down because of how much I sold. All right, boom plorts and pabby plorts are going up. Cotton plorts are going up, crystal plorts. All right, so um, there's a few that I could keep and not worry about selling, but I don't really have a silo or a place for a silo. Well, pink might not even be worth selling. It might just be worth putting in the refinery every time now. Just so that I have a good amount of pink plorts to work with, depending on what uses pink plorts. But it's also rather consistent money, because it's never below like five. I'm sure you can get it to go really low, but it seems to stay around the same amount. So Batty and Boom Plorts are worth selling right now. Okay, yeah, 
I'm, I'm good on money. Yeah, now I can afford a new zone. I know Foster reports aren't worth selling at the moment, considering the price is going down. And I don't think angler plorts are worth selling, but crystal plorts are worth selling. What about honey plorts? No, honey plorts are worth more than crystal plorts right now. Nah, screw it. I'm going to sell all of these. I'm not going to hold on to any of them right now. I need the money. Alright, so now I can pick two spots pretty much. I think I need just a little bit more money and then I can buy two. I really want the den. I was gonna wait, because I thought it was gonna take me longer. But since I just slept, <laughs> kinda, not cheating, but uh, taking the easier route, I really wanna know what it looks like. Long walkway. How many plots do I get here? I only get five. I got five there at the archway. Okay, every single one of them only has five. All right, it's not bad. I hear a robot. Yeah, I gotta climb up there. I don't know if I can do that without the check pack. Oh my goodness. Really? No. That's gonna have to wait. Um, let's just explore this area a little bit here. This has got some, like, Wind Waker vibes, too. I love it. I'm guessing yeah, I can put some teleporters and stuff out here. I wonder if there's any unique buildings down here. Incinerator and ponds. I think it would be cool to have a pond in an area like this. Oh, that would mess with the humidity. Oh, hey. Resources on my property. Nice. I can look in the archway. Cool. I'm definitely going to want to build a refinery link. Um, I'm going to see what the new silo looks like. Okay, it looks pretty much the same. And then the upgrades are probably pretty expensive. 500, yeah. I'm guessing it's 500 per, which could be worth it. I'm not sure. What are you gonna do with this? Oh, that's adorable. Are there any pond upgrades? No. I love it. Interesting. I need to look at the uh, price for teleporters and stuff. I don't think I need a teleporter over to any of the farm plots. Maybe on the farthest ones, that would make sense. Um, but I definitely want a refinery link at every single one. Because it just makes sense, even up here. Just so I don't have to go all the way down here. 
I'm going to be making a lot of refinery links. All right, let's see here. And even look at all this stuff. Phosphor, oh, I can make one. Why not? All right. So I think I could take it with me. I wonder if I can like pick it up and put it back down. I'm assuming I have it, right? Yeah. I'm, I really hope I can. Oh, hey. What's this? They got two. Victor Humphreys. Beatrix, I've done it. I believe I've cracked the super mysterious code that was sent to me. It was astoundingly complex. I believe that AI that created this place, uh, yeah, that created this code, this way is a comparable intellect to my own, so very advanced, almost alien. Well, you're probably wondering what it said. Well, I determined this mysterious, perhaps even alien AI sent a message that says, Hello. Not much, but pleasantries count for something. More importantly, though, the moment I cracked it, I received another message. It's almost as though this mysterious AI is moder monitoring me. How exciting. I haven't decrypted it yet, but the code is considerably more complex. This should be fun. Well, back to work is over. And then Ogden Ortis. Hola, Beatrix. Are you there? It's me, Ogden Ortis. Um, <laughs> geez, I hear you're off on a big new adventure on a mysterious island filled with secrets and danger. Maybe a few succulent fruits or veggies the world has never seen before. I know I had to ask ever since you got me a steady supply of Kukadoba fruits. I don't remember this. Um, I've been reaching for even greater culinary heights with the far, far range. Plus, I'm getting pretty tired of eating Kuka, uh, Kukadoba pie, Kukadoba souffle, Kukadoba pudding, Kukadoba con carne, Kukadoba con Kukadoba. I'm running out of ideas and willpower. So if you see something new, please tell me about it. Tasty treats aside, I want to know all about the new flora and fauna you discover. Never forget, every bit of this wild world is precious and worth our care and respect. And stay hydrated out there while the adventuring will work of a sweat, so take this water tap. Alright. Good luck, Beatrix. Keep me posted, I'm rooting for you. Okay. Um, everything should be like reset now. So when I look for the radiant ore, I think that's what it's called, right? Which I think it's gonna be probably around here. I think there was some over somewhere here, but I don't remember. Have I been out there? I think I need a jetpack. I'm gonna go this way first. And then after this video, I'm gonna go get some food because I am starving. Before this, I was uh, doing some voice acting. Can I feed you that? No. Chicken. Oh, dang. Stony Hen. Oh, yeah, this was the little area I, I uh, unlocked the gate from. It's blocked by a cotton largo, I think. I think I only have one largo marked on the map, right? And I know there's a baddie one over there. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to collect some pomegranates. If I could get a stack of 30, 
That's more than enough, I think. Ooh, a cave. Lots of jelly stones. Trying to keep track of where I am. I'm sure I've been down here, but I don't remember. Oh, hello there. Power chip. You set the fabricator to upgrade the Vax power core. Does that mean like I can suck from farther away? <laughs> it's a fun way to put it. Um, then I'll just look around for resources. Collect anything I can. And then I need that. And that. And that. Oh boy, when I have a house of my own, it's going to be really, well, a house, a place of my own, it's going to be really difficult not to get cats. Every crap. <laughs> God damn it. Every cat that I see, I'm going to be picking it up. <sighs> well, there goes all that jelly stone and stuff. Time to feed all the pets. Hopefully that doesn't mean that I lost this. Okay, good. That would be very upsetting. I accidentally caught a chicken. I think I'm gonna keep some of these extra Q berries and stuff and try to unlock the area behind the batty plort. Or Batty Largo, I mean. Jeez, that is a lot of sea hens. If only I could sell them. There's an old one right there. Did any of them get out? Doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna leave them like a buffer. Just so that he can keep gorging on them. And I'm gonna feed them ten of these, because there's more than ten of them there. I'm gonna feed these guys all of the water lettuce, because I don't have a lot. And I don't really care. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh. I'm gonna see if there's any hungry. Yeah, there's a couple more. There, two more. Alright, I'm gonna let those guys eat, and I'm gonna go start from the phosphor honey slimes. I'm gonna make some more money here. How disappointing. I didn't lose that much, but it's still annoying. I was going on an adventure, and then abruptly ended like that. Uh, what should I keep? I think boom plorts. And maybe um, crystal? Boom plorts and crystal plorts. Yeah. I can keep three of them, so boom plorts, crystal plorts, and angler plorts, because those are going down right now. So is honey. But I just sold them, so angler plorts. So I'm going to take all of these. And all of these. And I'm going to go all the way over to the silo. That'll be nice to move some of these things around, but the more I have here, the less time I have to go out there. So I gotta keep taking care of all the 
slimes. All right. Anything else that piles up there, I'm not going to worry about. So when they ate up everything, they're going to keep eating and pooping out plorts. So I'm going to move on to these guys. I got more food in there, but it's fine. All right. Um, I really don't remember what I need for the teleporters and everything. So, I got all that. What about building materials? Phosphor, cotton. I guess I can store away some cotton plorts. And I didn't even see that many uses for pink plorts, so all the rest of the pink plorts I'll just sell from now on. So I have no other reason to keep them around that I know of. And I'm going to keep the boom plorts and just sell the baddie, baddie, baddie plorts. Things are going up too. All right, all the way back over here again. And to the empty spot. I wonder if eventually I'll get like a little selling station that I can sell from wherever I am. That'd be nice. No, I was hoping to see if there was like upgrades or something, but there isn't. At least not visibly. They all jump around at the same time. They're all in the same tick. Oh, more water lettuce. Don't want it to go to waste, so I'll just check it in here. Okay. Um, did I need to buy anything before I left? I don't think so. Okay, so I was gonna go feed the baddie plort or baddie lar largo, largo, whatever. I think largo sounds better. And then I need to collect a lot of radiant ore. That's the main resource I need. All the other ones aren't as important. I'll just collect whatever fruit I find along the way. Because that's what the baddie Largo eats. Don't want chickens. Don't want lettuce. Don't want carrots. Just the fruit. I don't want to go that way. I will take the tabby slimes again. I'm pretty sure I got more than enough fruit now, but... I can keep collecting some. That's what I'm after. Tabby slimes. Well, got some money out of that. Ah, oh, that mute button. It saved me so many times. I didn't even pick it up. Come here. Come here. Very evasive. Alright, 
Is that a lucky one? No, it's just a regular tabby. It's a hungry tabby. Bogo fruit. They probably have enough tabby slimes now. I don't know how long this video is going to be, and I was thinking about ending it, but I kept saying that I'm going to feed it, so I'm going to feed it before I leave. I'm starving all the native population, but it's for an important cause. I don't need to grab any odd onions. I don't think... I find any radiant ore, I need to keep an eye out. I need to remember where it is. So I swear, I remember seeing some like in this area, but I don't remember when or where. So I could easily be very wrong. I don't even remember how to get back. Oh, well. I hear a lucky slime. There's multiple up here. Alright, I'm gonna have to come back. Can't remember the geyser. Like the first geyser I run into. That's adorable. I think I wanna go this way. Um, oh boy. Oh, I gotta check all that out eventually. I don't know if I've been over here before. I don't think I have. Um, maybe. Yeah, this is a new area. Cool. No. I guess I need to use the jetpack with that. Oh, and I need those slimes too. Oh, okay. What is that? I guess that's just part of the environment here. Okay, now I know of a crystal. Uh, Largo. Largo. Whatever. Very cool. I probably should have grabbed the uh, water slimes while I had the chance. Just thinking about it. Wow, more radiant ore. Okay, it's all, it's in all the high spots around here. Are those just leaves? Probably. So I think it's down this way, right? Cool. Yeah, it's right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm glad I brought all that food. I needed it. Oh boy. Bees. 
these. Oh, this is cool. More tabby slimes. Lots of tabby slimes. Oh, so I guess that there's, um, the, 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 not, I don't know, they're like raccoon tanuki slimes or whatever. I think they steal stuff. What is that? Oh, it's a crystal slime. Fire slimes. It's a boom port, I think. There's a secret behind there. Which way did I come from? I feel like that's a lot of uh, unexplored area. I think I came up that way. I'm gonna go this way. A little dangerous here. Just a little bit. Lots of lava. Tar slime. Damn, that doesn't kill him. Okay. Um, jump. Jump. Spicy. What is this? Lava dust? That does not make any sense. Oh boy. Ouchie. Okay, lava does hurt, but it's not an insta kill. Oh my goodness. I forget what is. What a uh, boom gordos. Oh, they're gordos, not largos. What do the boom slimes like the most? I know it's meat, but is that a stony or is that just a regular hen? It might be a stony. But it doesn't really matter. I have so many sea hens. I can just vacuum up some chickens on the way here. But this is going to be quite the one to get to. This is dangerous. More pomegranates. Don't need them. Oh boy. No. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Chaos. Yeah, that's just a regular hen. Okay, well, I did what I came here to do, and I gotta say, it was kind of disappointing. <laughs> I was hoping for something a bit more, um, I don't know. Valuable, but at least now I know I gotta go and do it again with the booms. Uh, Gordo. Okay, and here's some radiant ore. Oh, nice, I got three from that one. Yeah, stony hen right there. I think there was some up there. I gotta figure out how to get up there again. Maybe I can get up there. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I can get up there. I just don't know how. Would it be this one? Nope. 
Maybe I can just go around this way. Yeah, maybe I can just jump for it. Nope. Alright. I know there's some up here. Up on the top ledge. Once I get the jetpack, I can... Finally... Alright, come on. Come on. There we go. Once I get a jetpack, I won't have to mess around with those geysers too much. There we go. Just need a little bit more. Where was it? Was it up here? It's dangerous here. So many tar slimes everywhere. Boy, that rum button. No. I just need a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more before I leave. There we go. Perfect. I'm glad they all gave three. Okay, I have enough just to get the jetpack. And once I get the jetpack, is there anything I need to do like right away with it just to see? Oh my goodness. I'm very excited I came back. I don't think there's anything that I need to immediately go do. I think it'd be fun to save that for the next episode. Pretty sure I just want to send that straight to the refinery. So I can collect some plorts and stuff for some money. While I'm out here. Going the right way, I think so. Free ports, I will take them. I didn't get any rock plorts or slimes, but it's fine. I gotta feed everybody too. They're all hunky. Oh boy, I left them for a while. Jeez, okay. Um, I suppose I'll do that before. Before I call it and make the jetpack, I'm just going to feed them all. I'll get back in there. It's a lot of pomegranates. Okay, yeah, this is more than enough for him. I probably, I can probably get a few more of these boom, boom bats. I get all the water lettuce, and then these guys get all the cube berries. Okay, and I'll collect their plorts later. 
in the next video, probably. Which hopefully won't take me too long to record the next one. And upgrade. Oh, jeez. Okay. Gotta wait for it to recharge first before messing around with it. Oh, boy. That's intense. That's much different than the last one. So I probably want to upgrade the energy. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's gonna take a little while. Oh man, I wish I didn't drop all the jelly stone. Oh well. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it relaxing and all that. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. What I should prioritize next in this series. Should I unlock another area? Should I focus on making money? Should I go feed that boom, uh, boom gordo as soon as possible? Are there any secrets or areas you want me to check out now that I got the jetpack? It looks like it has its limit. It can only fly up to a certain height. I'm sure if I can get on top of the uh, conservatory, it's probably got a good secret or two. Let's try. Oh, probably can't get any higher than this. Unless maybe... Oh, no, ran out of juice. Oh well. <laughs> we'll explore all that in the next one. Bye-bye.